Hey, how's it going, guys? This is KNASC3090 here with another Oakland A's franchise. This is episode 10. This is the spring of 2023. Real quick, if you want to take a look at our roster, not the best pitching. We got Tywin Walker, Syndergaard, Sk- I mean, Syndergaard's only 89. Great name, but not the best player. Skaggs, Finnegan, rookie, uh, Alvaro Vasquez. Um, Evoldi is kind of our, our long man. He's always pitched really well, but I don't really want to try this Vasquez out since he is a 23 year old. I hope he can play well. If anyone's struggling, we can sub in Evoldi there. Maybe we'll go get a name. We do have some good prospects. Solid bullpen here in our lineup. We got a lot of lefties, but we got Malik Smith Billings, our superstar, great defensive guy. Last year, he hit 34 home runs. If he could hit 30 and maybe bring that average up kind of to what he was the year before in 291, he'd be an MVP caliber player. Uh, Bird, Gallo, Meadows, Ward, Conforto, Chet Oaks, rookie Chet Oaks, a potential second baseman. Should hit the ball pretty well. Good durability. Not the best fielding, but we'll see. And then Larry Deal, the defensive catcher, batting ninth. So, also, apparently I missed something and uh, about how to scout. Someone in one of my Twitch streams when we were doing a Cincinnati Reds rebuild um, said that you can scout every week. So, that's something we're going to be doing. And I tested it out, and it does work. So, we're going to be, like, in West. We can see our West is great at pitchers. So, we're going to go West. Pitcher, and we're going to scout. And then in a week, that resets, and we have to do it again. Central, um, probably go with positional. And we're going to start with um, outfield. International, we're going to go with, I guess, infield. And then what? Uh, east, excuse me, we'll go with catcher, I guess. And then like every week, we'll update this. And hopefully, we have a good board. Because we do have a couple extra picks since we did lose a couple of free agents this offseason. So... We have 30 on the triple A. All right, we got to fix that real, real quick. Let's call you down to double A. You to double A. You to double A. Let's mix up some pitchers as well. You to double A. And you can go to single A. We should be good now. Let's finish the week. Auto fix that. And we are starting off two and five. All right, so take a look. Scouting is now change so west and now that's doing east now that's doing west and that's international we want all these to be the same west we'll leave him at catcher why not uh central let's put him at infield international let's do pitchers because i someone on one of my streams said international pitchers are the best place to find bargain like really good diamonds in the rough players east let's go with outfield all right let's go a week We'll do that again. We can and this way we, we'll slow down the franchise a little bit, I guess, by doing this. This is only for the first half of the year, obviously, after June first, roughly around June first. Once the draft happens, we obviously won't be doing this. Um our scouts have informed me that there are no new outfielders to discover in the West region. Alright, we're done with that. So West, let's not go to outfielders, let's go to infield. Actually, that's pitchers. Um, let's do some velocity. Let's get some hard throwers. Central we want. Outfield. International. Let's go outfield. Let's just do outfield for all of these. Let's get some studs out in the outfield. And that's east. And that's outfield. There we go. Because we really don't have um, a lot. I was looking. We don't have a lot of right fielders. So that's something. We have like one in our whole like organization. If I remember right. Maybe two. We have one. Three left fielders. Now our right fielder is not bad. It's Terry Meadows. And he's young. Very good player. Good power. But we can always get more depth there. It's not a bad thing at all. Um. All right. Let's do some more scouting. West, we're going to go with, let's do some lefty pitchers that throw hard. Central, again, let's do outfield. International, let's do infield. East, and we'll go back to outfield. I'm just mixing these up. And we'll go another week to our series with the New York Yankees. So we're playing a little better now. 16 and 11. Not too bad. West, we'll go back to pitchers. Central, again, let's do Oh, they're done with outfielders and central. Um, let's do infield, international. We'll do outfield. Let's look for some power. And east. Let's go with outfield and again. Let's look for some power. I love me some power. I always have, always will. They say chicks dig the long ball. Kane Asty digs the long ball. All right. Some more scouting. Again, west. Pitchers. Let's look for some movement, I guess. Central. Let's do infield. You know, let's do catcher. International. Infield. East. I guess we'll go with outfield again. Again, let's look for some power. Oh, all outfielders in the east have been discovered. I guess we'll do infield. Let's look for some power in the infield. That's something hard to find. There we go. 
So we only have a few more weeks of scouting, it looks like. So let's finish that up because we're now almost 10 games above 500. Our scouts and performance, all the infields in East. So East is almost done. Um, I guess we'll do catchers in East. I guess we're doing pitchers in East. Um, international. Let's try outfield central. Let's try infield west. Let's try pitchers with command. There we go. Now we are 10 games. Never mind. <laughs> Over 500. That ended quickly. West. Let's do some lefty pitchers with some movement. Central. I guess we'll do catchers. International. Catchers. East. We'll do catchers. We're doing catchers this week. Oh, wait, we have to do pitchers. I forgot what the um, East. Because they've got all position players. How are we in standings? We're a game up on the Astros. Okay, we got one more week of scouting. Central. Um, in catch. Outfield, pitchers, <laughs> international, uh, pitchers, let's just do pitchers, finish this up with pitchers, and we'll go to the draft, oh, the draft is today, alright, so we have the 29th pick, and we got both picks in the compensatory round, and then second round, alright, so we got three picks in a row, it looks like, hopefully we can hit a home run with one of these, how's this look, um, not the best, I mean, that's a closer, I guess we can take a closer here, I mean, it's a safe pick. Let's take the close. He's only 18. Um, good K per nine. Good uh, hits per nine. Good velocity at 75. Good break, potentially. Let's take the closer. He should be a high B. Um, this guy's someone we can maybe take a chance in a round or two. Let's try to go for a home run here. Maybe the shortstop. Great fielder. Um, let's see what else is out here. Ed Ruiz, maybe him. A little more contact, solid fielder. Let's go with Ruiz, I guess. And then here, let's take more of a uh, known commodity. I want to get this Messiah maybe in the second or th third round. He's 21, but only a 50 overall at this time. He'll be a ways away. Same with him. Same with him. Um, Let's go with Blunt. Light one up, Blunt. Or is it Blount? I'm not sure what he goes by. We're going Blunt because of LeGarrette Blunt. And here we go. Messiah is available. Now, he's not going to be ready for a few years, but he should be an A potential at third base. Worst case in like a year or two, solid tra trade ship. We can go get someone because of them. And in the second round, I think that's worth it. Here, we're going to take... I kind of like... Oh, if this Franco has power, he doesn't have power. Mariano Ordonez. Mm, let's take... Let's We took a third baseman. I guess we'll take a first baseman here. Wait, 50 overall, 50 overall. He's 19, he's 20. We'll go with the first baseman. Hopefully he's good. We'll find out in a few minutes. And now we're going to take a chance on... Give a chance, a chance on Pedro Barreto. Uh, has a chance to be good. He's from Mexico. 22 years old. I wish they had it in real life. Um, If you guys didn't know, with international players, it's not a draft. It's just international signing period. Which is good for the big market teams because there's no draft. So you can just kind of get who you want. Um, Let's take a chance on this Hayden, I guess. Ooh, 80 overall power from both. Massachusetts, 70 overall at this time. If that is like a B or an A prospect, very solid player because he's going to hit some yappos. Um, and then I guess we'll take this guy. I mean, if we scout it, we might as well just throw the scouts a bone. And that's going to be our last pick. We're not going to have a pick in the seventh round here. All right, we'll just sim a week, and then we'll check to see um, how our uh, draft was. We are in first place. Eh, eh. I mean, we knew Chang was going to be a solid pick. Wasn't going to be outstanding. That's not bad. 18 years old. Already a 68. Should be a reliever for our team for a few years. Sid Ruiz. We took a chance on him. Bust. Uh, Blunt. Thought he was a relatively safe pick. Nope. Bust. Machias. We thought he was going to be an A. He's only an 89. And like I said, he's 21. Only a 46 overall. Maybe he bumps up to an A potential. But not much there. Franco. Again. Project. Barrero, and he's a C. This is the guy with the power. Yeah, his power's already in the 60s, but he's only a C potential. He won't get much better. However, this guy in the last round, that's not a bad pick, I guess. 55 overall in the last round, 87 potential. Sure. So we didn't have a great draft, even though we spent a lot more time on it. I don't know. We'll fool around with that still and see how we do. So we are struggling right now. We're only, what, seven games above 500. Make that five. We need to get a nice little winning streak here. That would be clutch. All right, we're now, okay, there we go. 
They had to trade Vernon Reyes for Brandon Smith and Adrian Pepper. A couple young guys for a shortstop. And even the shortstop position, I think it's 24. So, interesting trade. So, when we get the trade deadline, we're going to see what we need. Uh, uh, you know, let's, let's check right now. We're six and a half up in the division. Wow. Okay. Walker kind of struggling. Syndergaard, not amazing. 3.12 for Skaggs, not bad. Finnegan's really struggling in Vasquez. How's Evoldi? Wow. Okay, Evoldi's coming in for... <sighs> Both are pretty crap, but we're going to leave Finnegan in, I guess. You know what? We're going to give the young guy in. The, his whip is better, but we're going to go with him. Bullpen is kind of... I'll give it a few weeks. See our offense. Wow, Greg Bird having a good year. Our offense is really struggling. Wow, for average. Conforto's not. Chet Yokes, it's a good rookie. And Deal. And it's not bad for a defensive catcher with eight bombs at this time. All right, let's go to the trade deadline and see if we can make a move. The Cardinals are offering us trade. Walker for David Dahl. Not bad. All right, he's 255, 14 homers. And what's Jacob Wilson? Anything good? Nah, I'm good. Maybe if Wilson was a somebody. But he's a nobody. The current probably the same trade. Jack Flaherty is any good? Not bad. Struggling this year. You know, last year he was amazing. Wow. Probably had a war of like four last year. Let's see, five point five six and he was really struggling this year. And Piscotti is a good player. Nah, I'd rather keep Walker. We need pitching. Even though his area is not great, I trust Walker to turn it around. The Cubs, what are the Cubs are Walker for whoa, okay. Yeah, solid prospect who has good control. Torres has to be someone though, and he's he's twenty six, seventy seven, not much. And Almora, he's twenty nine, eighty. Now that's just that's just not enough there. We're six games up. Let's see what we're ranking at in stats and see what we need to improve on. Runs were third, home runs were second. Um, I really don't care too much about stolen bases, but we're tied for second. Okay. Um. Let's see. On base percentage, maybe improving that. We're tenth. Fielding percentage, we are. Oh boy, sixteenth, basically average. ERA, we are eleventh. Hmm. Let's see what out there in the trade block. Any? I'm just looking on the right for the overall. See if there's like a really big name. Clint Frazier, not having the best year. Lewis Brinston, he's cheap. Ooh, I might go after Brinson. He's, I mean, he's only making two point four million this year. Two point. Wow, that's a really friendly deal. Possibly go after him. Burn. We really don't need a shortstop. Hmm. Sierra. Eh, no. 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 Yeah. Let's go after. Where is he? Here we go, Lewis Brinson. Who is our center fielder now? Mount Smith. Now, what's his contract looking like? 9.45. Now, if I do that straight up, he's a year younger, a lot cheaper. And well, let's take a look at War. And he has 92 fielding as Brinson, and he has 77. Brinson has solid speed. I bet you Brinson's having the better year for War because of his defense. But let's just double check that. 3.65. Two. Yeah. I mean, if I just have to include like an eh prospect, I can probably get this done. There we go. I'm doing that. We get, we trade Malik Smith, but we get Lewis Brinston, who's younger and dirt cheap. He's going to help us out in money. We do save nine million, I mean, seven million dollars from doing this trade. That's big. Um, And let's see how Avoldi's pitched. Still pitching well. I think we'll leave our pitching as is. Let's go update our lineup by Brinston, not lead off, but we're going to fix our lineup up. He's in 283. That's not bad. Which is on base. 376. Never mind. He'll lead off. Wow. He's having a really good year. I think we're good. I think that's going to be good enough. I trust our pitching to keep it. Um, Auto fix our lineup in AAA. All right. We need a... I would feel comfortable getting like a nice 10 game winning streak here, something like that. Man, the Red Sox are playing great. Wow, I just looked at 70 something wins already. Here's that winning streak. There we go. 
triple A team did not. All right, make the playoffs in the double A. We're nine and a half games up. It's looking safe. We're gonna make the playoffs. And Volti's still pitching really well. Vasquez, eh, five hundred three ERA. And Lewis Brinson, thirty one home runs. Wow, eighteen stolen bases. I like that. Billings is getting hot. Drew Ward's playing pretty well. I mean, last year he had over 300, 322. Meadows. I need more power out of Meadows. I know he's not going to hit for a lot of average, but we need power. Conforto. I might move Conforto up. I don't know. Chet Yokes, rookie of the year, maybe. 295, 25 stolen base. He'll probably hit 10 home runs at least. Not bad. Let's finish this sim as we will be in the playoffs again. Let's see. Do we going to get 100 wins? No, we don't. 96, though. I mean, last year we got. 101, not bad. But it's all about what we do in the playoffs now. Two gold gloves, that's not bad. Edwin Escobar got MVP and... Look at that, Cy Young, Red Sox, three straight years. McCullers got it. Juan Alonso, wow, 38. Wow, look at that power versus left. He's only 25. That is some light tower power, they like to say. Batting title to Byron Buxton, there you go. It's for Twins fans, Freddie Freeman. We did not get Rookie of the Year. This guy who's 30 got Rookie of the Year. Come on, a 30-year-old. 25, yeah. My guy's 22. So Walker finished with a 3-4-2 ERA. Almost 200K. 200K for Syndergaard. 170 with a 3-8-4 for Skaggs. Evoldi, a 3-3-8. And then Vasquez kind of struggled. We might... I mean, I'm probably just going to go with a four-man rotation in the playoffs. And then in our lineup, Brinston finished with 38 bombs. Wow. I mean, his war is probably like 6 Six and a half. There you go. Because, I mean, that 93 fielding definitely helps. Um, Billings kind of had a down year. I mean, down in average, down in home runs. But he's still a 98 overall. He's still, I mean, and he'll have a good war as well because of his fielding. So, we have some great fielders on this team. So, now we're, like I said, this is where it matters. We're playing the Twinkies. Walker versus Tyler J. Big win game one. Okay. Looking good. Okay, good. So, we're now... In the ALCS, and I do not want to start Vasquez in it. So what we're gonna do is just move up Walker. And have him pitch game one. There we go. I score eleven runs. Probably didn't need him. And now we're gonna move up Syndergaard to game two. There we go. Up two nothing now. This is good. This is good. We're gonna keep moving him around. Let's put Skaggs in the number three. All right, and this is where we're going to use Evoldi. We're not going to use Vasquez at all. Mm. It doesn't matter. I mean, we've been pitching well. So now we got Walker game five. This is, I don't want to call it a must win. It's a very important game, though. I mean, if we scored a run or two, it would be really nice. Two to three, zero to three, two to three. All right, we're going to game six now. We're going to put... Um, Syndergaard pitching game six. I guess Skag will be our seven. We'll play this game. Well, we'll go into it. And we'll send a little bit of it. See if we can just get that win. Like I said, I always like to have as little human interaction as possible. I want to see if we can build the team. So we're having Syndergaard pitch. Vasquez is just there to be there. We've got to score some runs. If we score some runs, I mean, we'll be doing pretty well. We are going to be playing the New York Metropolitans if we can make it. To the World Series, but let's see if we can get it. This is a big game, game six. This is the farthest we've been, I believe, is game six. I think we lost it two years ago, so huge game for us. It's so important. I'm gonna sim the first five innings <laughs> and see what we're at. If we're if we're struggling, if it's close, we'll play. I mean, I don't expect us to be down by a lot. We've been pitching really well. We just need to score. Maybe at home we'll get a little bit of luck. Tied at one. You know what? We're going to take our chance. Let's go another inning. We shouldn't have an inning where we give up like six runs. I say that and watch us give up like six. Hey, we got the lead. We're only going to get one hit this game. is by Sano. So let's go an extra inning. You know what? We're going now. We're joining now. And we're going to warm up a couple bodies. We're tied at two right now. Let's warm up. Wolnock has been struggling, but he does have good stuff. To Gucci. Um, and I guess we'll go with Kila. 
Let's warm those bad boys up. And let's pitch on this. We gotta... If we can get like a nice little couple runs, I'll sim again. Just so we can hurry up with this. But we gotta get this W. This is an important game. Game 6. With Thor. Now I am used to using him. But this is before... I started this franchise before he guys upgraded to have his slider. And his slider is so good. It is amazing. I used him in Diamond Dynasty. An amazing pitcher. As there's just 99. Can't hit that. Can't hit 99. I'll try a little sinker down and in. All this is just to have him hit a little weak ground ball. You know what I'm going to do? Let's take a chance. I don't want to play this early into it. All right. I'm going to... True Ward's up. You know what? We're facing Matt Moore. Let's go another extra half inning. See if we can get a run. I'll do one more inning, a fast half inning. We'll bat. We'll bat. Oh god, lead off walk. Oh my goodness. This is why I don't have nice things. All right, I guess we're gonna have to make the comeback. It's a minor setback for our major comeback. I say this is an important game, and then I just sim too too much. Got one back. There's Billings with a bomb to left field, almost into the second deck at the Coliseum. There we go. That's a nice little uh, answer if they score four. 426 feet. Just sat on that up and in fastball. And then we got Billings to shortstop up. And he ropes one to left, but that is right at the left field. There it is now. So at least we got one back. Let's try to just get another run this inning, another run in the eighth, one in the ninth. We're going to extra innings, worst case. Let's see here. There's a very weird delivery that Matt Moore has. Good change up. Like, he's like, the way, if you look at him, his body is like contorted. So it's like pointing towards first base instead of at home, where you'd expect him to be. That's not even close. Not a competitive pitch. I always like to say those. When you, the hitter is just not even thinking about it. Like, you can't, like, I don't have a problem throwing a ball if it sets up. Like, that's a good curve. Even though that's a ball, it's a competitive pitch. You set up like a, maybe a low and away fastball because of it, because you had to think about swinging it at it. Another curve. I actually tried to swing him. I just accidentally didn't hit X hard enough. I'm going to be real with you guys. Fastball, maybe? Another curve, and I cut off the end of the bat. All right, though. That's okay. Kind of wish for the 3-1 count. You hit the ball a little harder, but it is what it is. That was a good pitch to hit, too. If you look at that. It was a changeup, actually. My bad. Let's see, let's see if we can get a fastball or something right down the middle. I'm hoping for that. I don't take an up and in fastball. We'll turn on that. As one thing I've gotten a lot better at, I mean, obviously this is against the CPU. I think I'm a veteran. I think it's just veteran. But um, in general, just me being able to hit a fastball. I've, last year, it wasn't the best. This year, I've gotten a lot better at just turning on it. Grant, that one was only 90, but I have noticed a definite upgrade in my skill, at least on that. This is probably Matt Moore's last hit or two. And he gets out of it. He got out of it. I don't like that. Oh, well. I'm going to the 8th. At least we got one back. And I'm going to be an idiot. We're going to bring in Taguchi, but then we're going to send this half inning. But I'll be, if I give up a base runner, I'll jump right in. As long as I don't give up a home run, I think we'll be okay. Look at that. Struck out the side. That's what I like to see. Now we got Conforto leading off, and they do have a new pitcher in. Venters, he throws 94. He's a lefty again. We don't need a home run here. We just need a single. Try to hit the ball on the ground. Did, unfortunately, right at the shortstop. That was an easy out. Conforto's retired. Come on, man. Get to first base. Catch the bag. So we got Drew Ward here. Man, that 95 did sneak up on me, though. I don't know how good his curve is. It's a knuckle curve. Ah, oh, man. You couldn't hit the ball harder. That ball was like 100 plus. Exit velocity, but right at Sanoa, right? So we got the rookie Chet Oaks, 95 mile per hour uh, exit velocity. Not too bad. Let's see what we get here. It's a little two seamer. That is, that's a really filthy pitch. I actually do like in when I'm playing Diamond Dynasty, play against someone two seamers if they have a good drop in velocity or kind of like a mini changeup that you just get someone off balance enough that they're going to make poor contact. As there we go, we get a ball that's going to one hop the wall. A two-out double, and now we got the top of the order batting, or is it deal batting now? I cannot remember. No, now we have deal up crap. It's our defensive catcher, but we're going to leave him in. Well, you know what? Real quick. 
What do we have? We do have bats we can pinch hit. I mean, defensive replacement. We don't have a guy who rakes against lefties, though. We're going to leave him in, I guess. There's not a lot of better options. It's taking a nice secondary lead at second, so if we get the base hit, we can hopefully score him. Just like that. He's going to score, hopefully. Oh, yeah, he scored. And just like that, <laughs> excuse me, it's now a two-run game, and we got Billings up. Or Brinson up, excuse me. Billings on deck. Three for four for him. Man, that was a very good midseason pickup. Let's see. Do we get another fastball with him? Hopefully. God darn it. That was a meaty pitch. And I actually want to go the other way with that try tier, and I just dropped the PCI too much. All right, we're definitely pitching this inning. We're going to finish pitching this game. As you get a good view of not the Golden Gate, I don't know. If someone in the comments, let me know what bridge is that. I must not. I know it's across the bay, but. So, Taguchi will leave him in since he struck out the side last half inning. Man, that's a good cutter. 93. How's his curve? Good enough. Got Billings there, that great defensive shortstop. Got one quick out there. So, we got what? Billings, Gallo, and then. Who was our number four hitter? Oh, it's Burr than Gallo, I believe. So we do have... <clears throat> if we need to score two runs, we have the best part of the lineup up next half inning to do it. Let's just get this cutter in and just jam the hitter. Time up. That works, too. All right, we got two down here. Taguchi, though, out of the bullpen. has been amazing this game. Just get a quick little ground ball to second or something right here with these cutters in. I wish we scored four runs and we were playing in Tampa. Those would have run any of those games because we lost. They scored three runs in all th each game and they won each game. Like all the foul. This is one thing about Oakland that I would hate to play in. Like if I was a baseball player, if I was a hitter, there's too much foul ground. You lose so many hits because of it. Uh oh. I missed time to. Ah, the ball's higher than I thought. That's that's a spear breaker. Nick Gordon with the two out. Two strike. Yabo. Now we gotta score three with our two, three, four hitters up. There's the weak ground ball I won in last at bat. Alright. Going to the bottom of the ninth. Down by three. But like I said, if we're gonna make a comeback against Carter Ka I've faced Carter Caps enough in Diamond Dynasty. I know what he throws. I know the fastball can get up on you. Let's see if I'm true to my word where I said I was able to catch up to Hard cheese. And I was geared up for it and got 88 on the slider. 86, 84. As you can see, I was sitting on an up and in fastball. Got that slider right down the middle, middle, and I'm just way out in front. Luckily, it was just a weak ground ball foul. <laughs> that time, the same pitch. That's the thing with caps, or like any guy who throws hard, the secondary pitches, you, it's so hard. To, you have to be sitting on them almost. Went with it to right. I don't think I got enough to grab some wall now. That's a lazy fly ball. One down, and we got now the power hitters of Gallo and then Bird. I just didn't have the PCI high enough. I had good contact on it, though, on 99. Let's see if we get that slatter again. We don't need a home run. We just need a single. Mmm. Dino, our final out now. Looks like we're going to come up short again. I guess that's the Oakland A's motto. We're always really good in the regular season, but the playoffs, we uh, <coughs> choke. That's the A's. And see, this is where the foul ground's going to kill me. Get out of play. Okay. I don't know why I swung at that. That's not a good 0-0 pitch to swing at. Maybe 0-2, you got to chase that and foul it off. But not a first pitch of an at-bat. Let's, let's just get a ground ball up the middle. All right. Uh, I believe this is Bird. Bird, you gotta take that hit by pitch. It's 83 miles per hour. We need base runners. Just take it off your thigh. It's a long way from the heart. You'll be fine. Yabo. Unfortunately, this is not much good because we're still down by two, but that ball was tattooed 459 feet. So now we got up Meadows. He's got some good pop. But we don't need a home run here. Again, we just need a single. Then a home run. 
Grounds it foul. That was a very good curveball. That was probably a strike. Yep. So I guess I can't be too upset for it swinging at it. Alright, so here's the 0 1 pitch. Come on, give me a fastball. Whew, thank God they did not call that a strike. I'm just sitting, like, with these hard guys, I always sit fastball, react to the others. So if you ever play me, I'll try to hit your fastball. You can probably beat me with off speed stuff. That time I dropped the PCI. I had good contact on that, or just late. Even though that pitch, you do want to go to left field with it. You don't want to try to pull that. So we're down to our final strike. Come on, Meadows. That looks like it's going to drop. Or right, that might get out. Yeah, well. And that home run in the top of the ninth now looms so large. That power though by Meadows, that's a nice little short compact swing. They're taking him out, bringing him Sam Dyson, another guy who throws hard. 94, who do we got up now? Michael Conforto, come on. That pitch was a borderline ball too that I hit out. Oh, get out. Get out. Oh, warning track power for Conforto and that home run in the top of the ninth. That's a pack breaker, man. That stinks. Well, guys, hope you did enjoy this episode of the A's franchise. Episode 10. We've been eliminated from the playoffs again. We'll just real quick see who the um, World Series champ is. We're gonna, and then we'll get to the offseason. That will be the next video. The Mets defeat the Rays. Good job, Mets. You are now in the... Uh, you've won the World Series. Hope you guys did, did enjoy this video. If you did, hit that like button. I'll talk to you all later. Take it easy.